Bolt's two week progression. So this was her original trim two weeks ago today. As you can see, she had a big hoof fracture, a lot of digital dermatitis in this issue, which we treated with iodine and salicylic acid. And that is how she was two weeks before this right here. Now this is her today. We washed the hoof off, block's still on, doing a lovely job. Just removed a little bit of the excess height just to keep her super comfortable on that block. And as you can see, this is all new healthy horn growing back here. There's a little bit of an ulcer left, but she is good to go. We are about to show you guys a huge heel fracture on this cow. Now, normally when we get these issues, they are on the outside hoof. And this is an unusual one as this is on her medial claw inside claw so we're being extra careful when blocking this cow because we want to make sure that we are not going to cause her any discomfort at all which is why we've gone with a rubber block and now we are going to get to removing all this loose horn now i have not edited anything out of this hoof at all this is the trim from start to finish there is just it's obviously sped up as i'm sure you guys can see but other than that i have not edited it at all and as you guys can see she really is not bothered by this at all and i get asked all the time does it hurt the cows is what we're doing hurting them as you can clearly see if i told you that this hoof actually looked pretty good you probably wouldn't believe me unless you knew where we started welcome back to nate the hoof guy so where did we start we started with this oozing heel right here. And sure enough, after we removed a little bit of loose horn, we found the source of the problem. This cow had what we call a sole fracture, meaning that that heel bulb had pulled away from that solar horn. And up underneath that sole now, we had a little bit of an ulceration, actually a big ulceration. We had to remove a lot of loose horn and wash away a lot of debris. If you want to see that original video, it was titled, It Was Oozing Before I Even Started. Now that visit was about a month prior to this one, and at that time, this heel bulb was in rough shape. A lot of exposed corium and a lot of inflammation. So at the time, we cleaned it really thoroughly, and of course, yes, put a block on that other claw and wrapped it with salicylic.